Hello, this is Alexander Cross, Criminal Defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area. If you'd like to learn more about Criminal Defense, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and feel free to ask questions in the comment section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos for you. So we received an interesting inquiry here on our YouTube channel. This has to do with uh, somebody who got accused of anal rape. Let's see here. My girlfriend and I separated a few months ago. We had sex in different ways. I am now accused of raping her because anal sex was not desired by her. Okay, well, generally speaking, uh, anal sex or anal rape would be a violation of Penal Code Section 286, uh, parentheses C, 2, parentheses A. It's a felony that carries up to eight years state prison, plus having to register as a sex offender under Penal Code Section 290. However, it doesn't mean, obviously, it doesn't mean that you did this. And if, you know, you broke up with her several months ago, generally speaking, there's probably not going to be any evidence of this, and it's going to be her word against yours, which basically means you need to remain silent. Remember your Miranda rights. Please always remember your Miranda rights, and obviously the police are supposed to read your Miranda rights after arrest, but a lot of times, and this is really important for you to realize, a lot of times the police will delay arresting you. A lot of times the police will delay arresting you. They will simply detain you. That way they can ask you questions without having to read you your Miranda rights. So please always remember your Miranda rights even if the police don't actually read you your Miranda rights. You have the right to remain silent, be silent. Anything you say or do will be used against you in court, never for your benefit. You have the right to an attorney if you cannot afford a private attorney, a public defender will be assigned to your case. For your benefit, please never speak to the police. Don't try to defend yourself. Why? Because if, even if you were 100% guilty, what are you going to do? You're going to say, I did it? No, you're going to say, I didn't do it. So, so it doesn't really help to say, I didn't do it. It makes no difference. They're just going to try to fish and come up with anything, any kind of basis to say that you did it oh well did uh, did you maybe misinterpret and think she wanted it when she didn't uh when she said no did you take it seriously i mean they're gonna get really creative so just don't talk to the police because you might say something even though you didn't mean to do it or maybe you didn't do it but you might say something that may come off as incriminatory and you'll end up digging yourself a, a deep hole don't do it let the attorneys go to court Enter pleas of not guilty, order all the evidence, a private investigator will have to get involved to basically comb through text messages, social media, to look for anything, her friends, colleagues, co-workers, family, anything at all to see whether or not she may have told people that she was upset with you because of the breakup and she was going to make X you know, things up. You know, you, you, all this has to be investigated because the consequences of having to register as a sex offender is absolutely horrific and you do not want to be convicted of this. Regardless, if you'd like to learn more about criminal defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and feel free to ask questions in the comments section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos for you. But if you've been accused of a crime here in the San Francisco Bay Area and need representation, call us now for a free consultation at 1-800-862-7677. Once again, 1-800-862-7677. Criminal lawyer, criminal lawyers, DUI lawyer, DUI lawyers, criminal attorney, criminal attorneys, DUI attorney, DUI attorneys.